Saxons, hope you have a great weekend and welcome back to school and welcome back to Finn. Before arriving at school each day, remember to complete the student health check and wear a mask that covers your nose and mouth. Drivers, register your vehicles. If you are driving to school, please swing by the student office and register all vehicles you plan to drive to school. This is very important in case of an accident, leaving your lights on or if you're parked in a tow zone. Welcome back to Ferris Library. The library checkout process will look different this year. Due to COVID-19 protocols, students will not be able to browse in the library for books. Instead, you will be able to browse the online library catalog to put a book on hold. If you have no overdue books or fines, the book will be delivered to a ELA class. This week is Hello Week. Today is Pajama Day, Wednesday and Thursday are Jersey Days, and then wear your Ferris gear on Friday. Dress up on your Coher Days, but if you should, you should also dress up at home and submit pictures to the Ferris Leadership on Instagram page. And if you are not already, remember to follow at Ferris Saxons on Instagram for school spirit, school photos, and student announcements. Check in quarantine t-shirts like this one. Are now on sale for $8 at www.momentumunk.com. Once at the website, search for Ferris High School in the e-stores section, and you will have access to the order form. Shirts will ship directly to your house. Get your shirts so you have a full rubber chicken collection after you graduate. Congratulations to Bethany Chisholm, who qualified for DECA National Conference in April in Food Marketing Services. And congratulations to this school year's DECA Students of the Month. Cole Schroeder for October, Samantha Dune for November, Aaron Starr for December, Bethany Chisholm for January, and Natalie Ackenbach for February. Yearbook would love to get your picture, Saxons. Please see or email Mr. Cox in M511 if you would like to submit any pictures to the yearbook. Here's a little more information about yearbook for members of the class. Hi, my name is Mr. Cox, and this is... Trista Dammel. Yeah, and we're in yearbook. We're going to make some quick little yearbook announcements, and let's start off with senior portraits. Here they are. This is across from the student office, seniors. Please make sure you check for accuracy with your senior portraits, okay? We've got to have these all done by March 22nd, March 23rd, and Contact me if you have any questions, but check this for accuracy because this is all we've got so far. On March 22nd and 23rd, we're going to have the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors take pictures with Dorians so we can get you all in the yearbook. Now come on over here, check this out. Yearbooks are on sale now. You see the big poster there above the business office down there? They're $39.99. What a great deal, huh? Right, Cox? Yeah! So, buy your yearbooks there, $39.99, and look for those pictures on March 22nd, 23rd, with all the whole school. There we are with Mr. B. Well, we're going to cover all of the music groups, like we did on Activity Day out in Victory Plaza, um, March, uh, what is that, 17th and 18th, Wednesday and Thursday? Next we're gonna, week. We're gonna, next week, we're going to do Group A on the 17th. Group B on the 18th, and then we're going to put you together, Photoshop you together. We're going to do it all in Victory Plaza, so we're looking forward to that. Just make sure you're there. We'll talk about it in class, but picture day next Wednesday and Thursday. Looking forward to it. Welcome to Activity Day, where we take our pictures for yearbook in groups. This is kind of how we'll do it. We'll do Group A on this side, and we'll do Group B on this side, and then we'll Photoshop them all together. So on group A's day, cohort A, we'll go one, two, three. That's it. And then we'll take that picture, but we'll hold our breath when we're together. Uh, you know, doing all the right COVID stuff. We'll start six feet apart, take our mask down, hold our breath, get together, take that group shot, sandwich them together. If you're in a club or an activity like FCCLA, or Finn, and you need your group shot done, you need to contact me, Mr. Cox, schedule a time as soon as possible, and we'll make it happen right here. This is the yearbook class. So, hi, guys. Oh, howdy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ferris.
Activities and club news, lunch basketball will not be happening this year due to COVID physical distancing requirements. There will be a school bus learning loop that brings off-day students and athletes to school on their off days for homework centers, sports practices, or club meetings. The return bus, bus leaves from the library at 4 p.m. and the activity bus leaves from the gym at 5 10 p.m. Register for this learning loop bus at the webpage on your screen. Students who do not qualify for the learning loop bus must make other arrangements for getting to school for practices on their out-of-school days. The Ferris Action Network is currently recruiting members. If you like helping the community, please consider joining this service-oriented club. Please contact Ms. Dietrich in the room M202 or at the email on your screen for information. This week, the Math Club will continue to meet virtually on Teams at 3 p.m. The Ferris Hispanic Honor Society will meet on Wednesday, March 17th at 2.30 in Teams. Please plan on attending this important meeting and communicate with Senora Gower if you are not able to attend. Washington Army National Guard is putting on a free event on April 7th from 6 to 8 p.m. for local high school juniors and seniors during spring break at the Altitude Trampoline Park. This event will be completely free to students. You get a free water bottle and mask, free jump pass with jump socks, and also free pizza and soda. The Guard will be holding competitions between high school rivalries and between students and friends with a chance to win prizes. There will also be a raffle to win a backpack full of swag items and a Visa gift card. Space is limited to allow for social distancing guidelines, so if you are interested, call 385-5630 or email the address on the screen to get your name on the list. At that time, you will also be given a waiver form from Altitude for your parent to sign. Good luck to the Biomed Research Class. They will be competing in the Washington State Science and Engineering Fair on March 26th. Spring Sports Season 2 begins April 5th. If you plan to participate in a spring sport such as baseball, fast pitch softball, golf, tennis, boys soccer, or track and field, get signed up. Be sure you have registered in Family ID with the current physical. If you are thinking about joining fast pitch softball, sign up for remind notices by texting at Ferris FAS to 81010. You can also request to be added to the softball team in teams. Ferris lacrosse is a club sport that will start after the current sports season. Registration is now open through April 1st. If you're interested in playing, please see or email Mrs. Cortner in L109 for details. If you are a girl interested in playing golf at Ferris this spring, there will be an informational meeting on Wednesday, March 24th, at 2.05 to 2.45 in Coach Smith's room, M101. Please be on time. If you can't make the meeting, but still want to play girls golf this spring, stop by sometime this week prior to the meeting or later in the week and see Coach Smith in M101 or the gym. In senior news, senior salutes are now being sold from $25 to $200 and are due on April 20th. They can be purchased and created through the Ferris Yearbook website. Seniors, Jostens will be delivering announcements and other graduation items on March 29th and 30th. This delivery does not include caps and gowns. Those are delivered in May. If you are a senior, visit the college and career pages on the Ferris website to find the monthly senior newsletter, information on financial aid, FAFSA, scholarships, virtual college rep visits, and more. You can also email to find out more about any of these topics. That's it for Finn. Thanks for joining us today. Stay safe, healthy, and six feet away. Good morning, Ferris High School. Uh, this is Mr. Lewis here with Mrs. Hastings. Um, just got a couple quick things here for you. First of all, we just want to say a huge thank you um, to all of you for following all of these new guidelines. The return to school has gone well because you are doing a great job. You're doing a bang up job. So thank you. It's not normal. It's not the way we've known it to be. And you have adapted so well. Thank you so much, students. Mrs. Hastings, yeah. I know you have some thoughts about that. Yeah, you know, I was watching the news yesterday about Washington going to phase three, and that really is a collective effort of everybody 
in our state and all of our students and schools wearing masks, wearing them properly, social distancing and, and following all the guidelines so that we can um, knock down the virus and get closer to reopening all of our businesses and getting kids back at football games and things like that. And not only have you been following the guidelines well, students, you have had positive attitudes about it, and that is a huge deal. Keeping the tone positive at school has been amazing. Safety first and then being able to be positive about it has just been encouraging to us. Um, a couple of things to remind you about. It's really important. I want to make sure that you just always remember when you're wearing that mask that it is fully covering you. Um, you know, we don't want to make sure we're not doing any of these guys or these guys. When you're walking around, when you're in class, this is how we wear our mask. That's really important. Um, also, just want to add a reminder again that we should be staying to the right in the hallways, especially as you're coming around the corner. Sometimes it's easy to want to cut the corner. Stay to that right so you're not running into other people. Um, and that's the, another way to stay socially distant in the hallways. Um, got a couple of things that we want to clarify. Some of these might be some new things. So Mrs. Hastings got a question for you. How many times can I, let's say I have one of those paper masks. Um, how, many, how many times can I reuse a paper mask? Yeah, so, you know, the paper masks are nice because they're cheap and disposable, but that's something to keep in mind. They are disposable. So this these are really one time use masks. And when you get home from school, you should throw this away and not use it again. So they really are only meant to be used uh, once. Great. Thank you so much. So they are yeah. disposable, so they're not to be used day after day after day. You've used it for the day. Get home. Go ahead and throw that away. Right. Um, also, another question are so our cloth masks. Um, is it OK for me just to like at the end of the day, leave it hanging in the car to air it out or like on a hook or on a doorknob and then just use it again the next day? Um, is that how I can take care and make sure it's clean? Yeah, no, I, I like the cloth masks a lot, too. But when you get home, this needs to be washed. Um, treat it like a piece of clothing, like your socks, right? At the end of the day, you put your socks in your laundry basket. This needs to be washed and dried before you wear it again, not to be worn day after day after day. And if a student doesn't have enough masks to be able to have a new one every day and wash it every day, uh, what are we? What can we do? Well, when I've seen the at the ninth grade entrance, at least there's a big pack of extra masks in there, and I'm guessing that the office has them and classrooms have them. So there's lots of extra masks around to have a nice clean one every day. Yeah, yeah, we do have them at every entrance for you in the morning. So we literally got you covered, we got you covered with the masks. <laughs> Guys, again, thank you so much for just being great. Your attitudes have been awesome. Following the guidelines, let's keep doing it and let's as let's help us move forward in those phases. Um, so thanks for listening. Thanks, everybody. See you guys later. Bye.